Hi, thanks for joining us in the debate. I learned a lot, and we've talked about a lot of different things, but nonetheless, I think the resolution of the debate was relatively simple. Both sides agreed that the first significant outbreak of COVID-19 was amongst vendors and other employees at the west side of the Huan'an Seafood Wholesale Market. This is a location near shops with live animals known to be susceptible to SARS-like coronaviruses and was identified by researchers in 2014 to be a potential site for zoonotic spillover. On this basis of close epidemiological proximity to a plausible animal source of the virus, I think COVID-19 most likely resulted from zoonotic spillover that took place in the Huan'an Seafood Market. This is similar to the observed prevalence of SARS-1 and MERS amongst people who directly work with infected animals. I was not persuaded by Root Claim's arguments that it is likely for disease to travel from the Wuhan Institute of Virology labs to the market without leaving evidence, nor before the first known case on December 10th that a person unassociated with the market tested positive on 2019 December 6th. Root claim did identify that the furin cleavage site in the SARS-CoV-2 genome looks unusual when compared to known closely related viruses which lack this furin cleavage site, but I expect any virus genome to have some oddities just by chance of evolution. Furthermore, Peter identified an even stranger furin cleavage site in the human coronavirus HKU1, which has known natural origin. If you want to hear more of my thoughts in the debate, do check out my written decision, and also take a look at the written decision that the other judge, Will, wrote. I haven't seen it yet, and I'm really looking forward to seeing it for myself. I want to thank both participants for engaging in debate in good faith and with respect. To me, this felt more like a collaborative search for the truth than a contest. This was a rare opportunity to have a discussion between opposing viewpoints based on object-level facts instead of rhetorical gotchas. I want to particularly thank Root Claim for organizing this debate and going to great lengths to keep it fair. This is a rare service to the public, and I hope that they conduct more of these debates in the future. Thanks for watching.